Everybody asked me, what happened to Chuck on Happy Day? He had a brother, two different people. The first kid we hired, honestly, which it happens, he came to me, he was like, okay, he said, I don't like this. It was after like two or three episodes. I don't think I should be doing this. I said, all right, well, I said, what do you want to do? He said, I want to quit and go back to school. I said, what is it you want to be? And he said, I want to be a poet. And I said, well, I'd keep this in your back pocket once in a while to eat as a poet, it's nice. But he did leave and he, he literally went to um, Ireland, he was an Irish kid, and uh, he went to Trinity College. The other guy we hired, because we thought Richie needed a brother, and um, he last—he was a good ball basketball player. He lasted, but see again, you got to pay attention to what's happening. It soon became obvious because we heard the audience love Fonzie. It soon became obvious that Fonzie was like the older brother, and that was the relationship that was working. And and I, Burns and Allen, remember that Joe Burns? We love Burns. One night I'm watching it and he comes out, the doorbell rings and he comes walking out toward the door and he stops and he looks in the camera and he said, you know the man playing our boss? He had to leave. This is a different boss. But this is who was playing our boss. And he went and answered the door and you're the actor. Nobody wrote a letter, nobody said nothing. So I just said, let's just have Chuck disappear and let's see how much mail we get. We didn't get much and uh, when, but the cast for, you know, we were on 11 years. Whenever they would forget a line or get mixed up, they say, was that Chuck? Who was that? Was, is, who's, who's on the phone? Was that Chuck? But he disappeared. You just it, Sometimes you gotta write people out and you write them in, it's the same.